In this lecture, we're going to create a table so that we can have something to begin working with. So right here, I'm going to create a new PHP file. And I'll name this create table. All right, so the first thing we need to do in this file is to include our database connection script. So we're going to say include once database.php. This way we have access to our database connection. And then we can begin to build our query to create the table. I'm going to store the query in a variable called table. This should be equal to the string that contains the information about the definition of the table. So right here, I'm going to use the create keyword. So I'm going to say I'm creating a table if this table does not exist. Okay, so if not exist. This way we are checking that this table is not actually existing in the database. If it is existing, then no need to create it. So the name of this table will be book, open and close bracket, and then we can begin to specify the columns and the attribute for each of the columns. The first column that we want to specify will be the ID column. This will be a column that we uniquely identify each of the rule in this table, and this is going to be our primary key column. So it's going to be of type integer. We're going to make it unsigned so that it's only going to accept positive numbers and zeros. We're going to say it should be not null, which means it must always contain a value. And we're going to say it should be the primary key and then it should auto increment. So auto increment uh, means that each time a new record is added to this table, the number of the ID will increment by one. Next, we'll create a column to hold the name of the book, and this will be of type variable character. Variable character will essentially mean that the size of this column will grow based on the value that we input in it. So that even if we specify here a 25, for example, it's not going to create space for 25 character initially. It will only create space for the number of values that is inserted here. And we're also going to say this should be not null and uh, it should be unique. Specifying the unique keyword here means that two books cannot have the same name in this table. Next, we're going to create a column to hold the description. We just call this DSC. Should also be of variable character. And uh, this I just specify 255. And we say description should be not null. And uh, lastly, we're going to create a column to tell us when the book was added into the database. We're going to name this column created at. And the data type for this will be a timestamp. And then we end this with a semicolon. Next, what we want to do is to create a try catch block. And here we just specify the exception we want to catch, which is a PDO exception. Within the try block, we are going to prepare and execute the SQL statement that we have here using the PDO query method. We are only able to access the query method here because we have included our database.php file here. So if there was any error message, we are going to display that. Okay, let's have a recap. Here we have the SQL statement, which defines the structure of the table that we want to create. We are storing it in a variable called table. And here within our try catch block, we are using the PDO query method to prepare and execute the statement that we have stored within this table. If this operation was successful, we're just going to echo table created. If this operation fails, we are going to echo and error or code. All right, so let's view this on the browser now. So I'm going to change the name of the file to create table.php. Okay, right here we, we see that the connection was successful, but we were unable to create a table. So PDO gives us this error message, invalid catalog name, no database selected. All right, let's go back and examine our database connection script. So from the error message that we got, we have an idea that we should be checking the DSN string because it said no database selected. So right here, we have specified that we're using the MySQL driver and we have also specified the host parameter to be localhost. And then here, if you notice, 
we just gave the name of the database but we did not specify which parameter we are assigning the word library to. So right here after the semicolon, we need to say DB name equal to library. All right, let's do a refresh now. Right here, we have a different error message. And this time it says syntax error or access violation. You have an error in your SQS syntax. Check the manual that corresponds to your MySQL server version for the right syntax to use near DESC. So this tells us that uh, this is what we should look for in our query. I'll go over to the code editor again and show you how we can fix this problem. Go to create tables. Right here you see that we are using the word DESC to name a column. It turns out that DESC is a reserved keyword in SQL which is used to show the structure of a table. For instance, if we have finished creating this table and we want to see the structure, that means the column names and the data types and all the various attributes that we define, we use the DESC keyword. So the only way that we can use it here is either we use the backtick, backtick or the full word description. We'll leave it like this and then I'm going to do a refresh now. And now it tells us that table has been created. Let's move this to a new line. So when I refresh again, it is not going to create another table because if you remember in our script, we are checking create table if not exist. So when we now go to the database, we'll see that we still have only one table. I'll click on the table. Right now, there's no record in the table. When we click on the table structure, we see that we have the ID, name, description, and the created ads. In the next section, we are going to learn how to perform crude operations using PDO.